Dene ke dochet nelna shonsi, no glek ke Teresa Vanimir Chasse shonsi. Hello, my name is Teresa Vanimir Chasse, and I am a member of the White River First Nation of Beaver Creek, Yukon, and guest curator of Emerging North. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the Yukon Art Center is closed, but we've decided to bring you a virtual tour of the exhibition to your screen. Mary Bradshaw of the Yukon Art Center approached me to curate an exhibition that was related to the Arctic Winter Games. I wanted to relate to the games by way of showcasing young talent. I identified eight artists to be featured in the exhibition. Two of the artists were selected through the Yukon Permanent Art Collection, and those artists are Janine Freyna-Jutley and Benjamin Gribben. The other six artists I asked to create new works that related to themes such as shared Northern experience, the Arctic Winter Games themselves, and the relationship between culture and play. First, we'll look at the work by Blake Shakun Lapine, a member of the Carcross Tagish First Nation. This work is called Guardians of the Portal, and it is acrylic paint on birchwood door. Next, we'll look at Heather von Steinhagen's installation called Paradise. Heather is Plains Cree and German descent and has lived in Yukon all of her life. This work includes audiovisual component as well as resin painting and cut out mountain landscape. Now we'll look at the work by Taltan artist Benjamin Gribben. These two carved cedar paddles were selected through the Yukon Permanent Art Collection for its relationship to culture and play. These two paddles were created in different years, so it shows the artist's progress. Next we'll see Blake Shakun Lapine's wood block prints that he created for this exhibition. He noted that he embedded the Arctic Winter Games symbol within the raven, and that the brush strokes across the raven are representative of different sports. Now we'll see the work of Cole Pauls, who's a member of Champaign and Ajac First Nation. Cole is best known for his comics, and he's created a comic strip specifically for highlighting Dene games and Arctic sports. Now we'll look at the work by Kaylin Baker, a member of Selkirk First Nation. Kaylin is most well known for her beadwork, but this time she's taken inspiration from the 1986 Arctic Winter Games torch and created a sculpture. Next, we'll look at Janine Frey Najutli's work. Janine is a member of the Vuntuk Gwich'in First Nation. This work was selected from the Yukon Permanent Art Collection for its relationship to the theme of shared Northern experience. Now we'll visit the work of Violet Gattensby. Violet is a member of the Carcross Tagish First Nation and is well known for her carvings. She stepped out of her comfort zone to create three arrows, a gun strap, and a carved gun stock. And finally, we visit the work by Crystal Coughlin Silver Fox, member of the Selkirk First Nation. Crystal's installation are of mid-air spears that relate to the Arctic sports such as snow snake. 